is in spirits with you. So now, um, we're on to Old Jock from Burton, Broughton Brewery, obviously Scottish, because it's a Scottish beer night. This is 6.7%. So I will actually go on to the brewery page um, because, you know, it's nice to, for people who don't know a lot about the breweries, and this is where, as beer reviewers, you really have got, if you can, you've got, um, you know, uh, if the website lets you, obviously, about. So we'll click on the about, see what it does. Oh, there we go. Yeah, lots of people. She's old. Um, ooh. <clears throat> anyway. So, Broughton Brewery is Scotland's original independent brewery. Founded in 1979. Good evening, mate. Since 1979, we have been handcrafting our award-winning range of ale, fly, ales, IPAs, lagers, stouts and specialist Scottish beers. Over our 40-year history, it's funny, you know, 1979, don't feel that old because I was born in 1971. Is it? Now, apparently, this is the, one of the kings of Scottish beers. Over our 40 year history, we have won numerous awards, both domestically and internationally, including awards from Seba, Camera, UK Supermarkets, Tesco, Meininger, and World Beer Awards. Uniquely, we use a Porteous Matt Mill, which dates back to the 1960s, to ensure all our beers are genuinely handcrafted. So, I'll read a bit more. I won't go on too far. Uh, Broughton Brewery was founded in 1979 by David Younger and James Collins in a former sheep station in the wee village of Broughton in the Scottish Borders. It was the first... Straps. <laughs> it was the first initi initiated, I think that says, Scottish microbrewery which appealed to customers looking for a new craft beer experience outside of the traditional mass-produced lagers and exports. Fair play to that. Scots wanted something more, something dynamic, something different and with real flavour. Amen. Right. I'll go further down. There's a lot to read on the site, so it's a good site to go to. Let's have a look at the beers. So I'll go to the shop, because the shop's always the best area to go to. July and winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. They should have brought this to England. This against um, King Goblin would have been an interesting. So you've got a jock in a box. That sounds wrong, that does. Um, you've got the Broughton, Brun Broughton Bundle. It's 12 different bottles and cans. Uh, although there's probably three old jocks so get your straps out 30 quid it's wee jock it is it's a, it's the, the uh, lesser version you've got hoppo blonde lager hoppo session ipa the one on the back or no so that's hoppo 6.2 ipa hoppo proper ipa hoppo malt zero hoppo blonde hoppo session ipa hoppo proper old jock scotch ale hey stout jock yeah, we jock, 80 shilling, uh, pure jock, alcohol free, we don't want none of that. Uh, Merlin's Scottish Pale, oh, oh bless you. And that's it, so I'll quickly jump back on. <laughs> He's a strapping lad, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Right. I'll get a clean glass so the experience isn't um, altered in any way. And as you read on the glass, you know it makes sense. So. This is where I'm looking forward to getting back into bears, Mr. So Fucking Drunk. Um, because... Because 
you'll be reviewing beers, a lot of beers from Scotland. You're not a fan. Um, you'll be reviewing beers from Scotland that a lot of beer reviewers aren't reviewing. And yet, it's all right when you see 20 reviews of the same chuffing beer. But, you know, this is what makes us all individuals by reviewing the stuff that's local to us. I, being a Nottingham person, love reviewing Nottingham beers. And uh, luckily, there are some amazing, I do mean amazing, beers. Taste like a champion? I yeah, will see. So, I'll just click on, pop out chat. Right, I'm there. 22 minutes past, Jesus, I'm in bollocking territory. So, smells strong, bloody hell. A darkish pour, chestnut, mahogany. A strong Scottish beer, this beer is a swearing word that you can't see on YouTube. Oh. <sighs> Malty on the nose, initially at least. Yeah, not much of a head to be fair. Uh, uh, just a ring of head. Right, this is interesting. It's interesting when it's not just um, Scottish people as well. So Old Chalk Scotch Ale is a masterclass in Scottish brewing, proving that the simplest, the simple things in life delivers the best reward. A beer substance rich and full-bodied with intense caramel aromas and roasted maltiness complemented by fruity first gold pearl and fuggles. Hops, the original award-winning Old Jock is the perfect companion to the finest food, slant, slant as I pronounce it. And, and it goes on about things. Uh, in Broughton, Main Street in Broughton, um, 6.7%. Right, let's get on with the beer drinking. Oh, here we go. I'll limber up for this. Yeah, it's a, it's a padlock on the shed. I lost the keys. Chucked them in the bin at Christmas two years ago when I was not very well. Don't ask me, don't ask me. Um, anxiety, stress, something along those lines. I get a boozy note to it. I certainly get malty. Right, here we go. I can taste the ABV straight away. Whoa, bloody hell, this is going to hit home. Fuck me, it feels like 8%. See you later, mate, and have a safe journey home. Whoa, this is bloody boozy, isn't it? Hey, Jesus, it's only 6.7%. Sorry, sir, we don't sell cocktails in here. <laughs> yeah. The combination to my beer room is the combin is my old, old, um, um, pay number for Nottingham City Council. 22 years of having to remember that number, you know, it's ingrained. Luckily it's not the um, combinations of the house either. No, it doesn't taste like a champion mate, no. It is very boozy, champion is boozy. Um, but champion's boozy in a different way, yeah. You get raisins, muscovado, sugar, the licorice back, licorice back, no, okay. Obviously, I've drank three different beers so far, and um, I just need to get my palate um, washed. Right. 
Right, definite licorice on the back end. Definitely got the licorice. Oh yeah, flipping heck. Quite a long, long licorice back note to this. You're damn right. Bloody hell, it's strong. Jesus Christ. It's a good thing it's only half nine. I've got eight hours to recover. Um, ish. That's before I started driving. <clears throat> Nine hours before I started driving. Right, the raisins are at the front. The sugary element comes in just after the raisins. But the licorice, it's a long lasting licorice on that back end. You see, obviously I've had three beers already, so um, and uh, you know, as with any beer tasting, you're better off doing it when you're not half tanked. Um, good, e good afternoon, good evening, mate. Another good one. Um, wow, that strength. Whoa. Yeah, so a good friend of the channel, I think he's gone to bed. I can't see his I can't see his name. Travelling views and good evening, mate. Yeah, so a good friend of the channel, Liam, uh, he actually his wife does personalised t shirts and glasses, etc. So they sent me this. The, the the black is my jumper. But yeah. Mine's got a bigger head than Maggie's. Not going down that route. <laughs> oh, he's still here. He's still here. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, lockdown 2021. And uh, I'll definitely need to come for you. Come to you, rather. Not come for you. That sounds wrong. <clears throat> For one for the beer festival, something probably is it's not going to be a bloody t-shirt because it's too cold at that time of the year. But um, certainly, certainly a um, like a um, a hoodie or a fleece if you do fleeces, a fleece that's blue, Raggy's beer reviews or something like not too big. So I don't want people to say that's that twat who's reviewed my beer and he says it's shit. But um, can you imagine? <laughs> I've still got a baby face. Fucking hell. With the grey hair. I've drank a lot and even I can tell I look old. Tulip glasses. Ah, good evening. Winding down for the 4am alarm. Oh, my alarm's up past five. So, as you can see, a lovely neon black pour. It does make to, yeah, yeah. We jock, hey. <laughs> it's crap, in it? Yeah, I'm English. I'm Nottingham and I'm English, so I'm shit fucking not doing any Scottish impersonations, so better not. Uh, but what I can say is this is a strong beer. And uh, yes, McEwen's Champion is 7.3. But I tell you what, even though it's only 6.7, I can't see any carbonation now. Um, even though it's only 6.7, it, it tastes as strong as the 7.3. Oh. The licorice last once once you can taste it. And sometimes this is where 
I think that £1.80 a bottle, you can't fault that, can you? It is strong. I've got to go up the arse yet as well. I'm trying not to look too drunk. Try. Try. <laughs> These things happen. McEwen's Champion. Yeah, the first time I drank McEwen's Champion, I thought it was too strong. Yeah. I agree, Travelling Brews. And when you look at the likes of Old Tom, Broadside, King Goblin, 1698, uh, Old Crafty N, you know, on a four for six deal, their ABV versus price is amazing, matey. Amazing. You're not at work tomorrow, are you, Liam? You should have. <laughs> 15 quid for eight bottles. That's a good price. And free delivery. Jobs are good, and. I'm, it's, it's certainly strong enough at this time of night. Is it your birthday? Old Jock has got complexities that um, the McEwen's champion hasn't got. Ah. Birthday, matey. It is your birthday, isn't it? Are we all, are we all sounding daft? <laughs> hopefully the kids aren't in the background and hopefully they're asleep at half past nine, they should be. Your birthday's January. Who said it was his birthday? <laughs> yeah, no, I thought I was drunk. <clears throat> anyway. Goat's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the other week. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, I don't care about the neighbours. <laughs> They're making enough noise. We're really quiet, we are. In bed since seven. Wow. Yeah, tough cookie you are. My ten-year-old, he, he goes to bed about nine o'clock. And even then he's not happy. <laughs> Yeah, Goat has had a lot of birthdays this year. Yeah, he likes his birthdays. So, one does apologise if I come across as rather drunk. Um, yeah, I am. Um, to me, it's like an Imperial Stout. You know, with, with Imperial Stouts, where they've got no heads. 110. <laughs> um, you know, with no head on the drink. On the nose, I still get malty, I still get boozy, that's for sure. There's a hint of licorice on the nose. And definitely, definitely long licorice flavours. Oh. I think when I go in the house, I have to play it sneaky. Walk up, walk upstairs, sit down, don't say oh, because if I say anything and give the game away, I'm in bollocking street. With any luck, she's already fell asleep, which is not feeling well. And I can just sneak into the bedroom, turn my programs on, job is a good one. A salt element. Versus McEwen. Yeah, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be interesting. Um, Broughton's Brewery website do 12 bottles, 30 quid. I think it's delivered, mate. 12 mixed as well. And I think you can choose what you want. So say you want three. Unicorn Scottish beer, 9%. I've had Unicorn when it was, in, when it was at Lidl. 
Holt 6X is amazing. Yeah, it is a quality beer. I even forgot about that the other day when I, when I was on about Joseph Holt. Yeah. So, um, wow, I'm really feeling this tonight. I feel absolutely tanked, to be honest. Four different beers, and it's surprising, you know. It's not about the ABV. You've already tanked yours, tanned yours. Um, wow, I'm really feeling it. God be honest. Um, oh. One will sleep well tonight. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> One also has to remember when you've had a drink not to say anything that you shouldn't say. And this is where, when I used to do non-live beer reviews and I'd had a drink, I was even worse. You know, I, I was totally um, naughty sometimes, in my opinion. And, you know, and, uh, now I'm live. I'm, I'm, I'm holding back probably the uh, that side of things. Yeah. One knows that you need to tone it down if you need to. <clears throat> Joseph Holt, to be fair, have done some amazing deals. You've just done an all grain brew. How have you managed that then? Have you got the kit? <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, I'm not that bad. Oh, brew in the bag. Mm. Oh, it's certainly it to know him, gotta be honest. So, would I drink it again? Hell yes. Bloody hell. Um, maybe not after doing three other beers. Um, am I feeling drunk? Yes, I bloody am. Um, am I pissed out of my head? No, but I'm certainly on the flipping way. Uh, one knows that he's had too much. Um, very dark chestnut mahogany pour, if you can call it chestnut mahogany, who bloody knows. Yeah, I know you've got to be careful when you're drunk because um, I actually got this sent to me as, as um, from a friend of the channel. And uh, it's, uh, it's a good, strong 6.7% beer. I've drank the world's strongest beer, yeah. There are nine strongest beers you might struggle to get hold of. A lot of these strongest beers, you can't get them anymore. They do them once and that's it. Brewdog are the worst for that. Hmm. So. Raisins, uh, malty, boozy, lots of licorice. There is a there is a slight salty element if one's being honest. I'm not looking at the screen at the moment because I, I don't want to. Um... Kent, how are you back on? You got home quick. Um, not looking at any scores. So I, I don't want to, you know be persuaded by other people's scores um 6.7 percent so one does apologize for being ignorant I, I hate being ignorant it's not the person i am i like to respond as is to comments um this was one of those beers that's a, you know i can understand now why multiple um scottish friends um 
rate this so highly. You know, it's an iconic Scottish beer. Um, and what does apologise? I can see the comments going down as I'm fucking talking. It's doing me nothing that I can't look at the screen because I don't want to be persuaded by other scores. Um, it's very boozy. By God. 6.7% doesn't tell you how boozy it is. I've had McEwen's Champion at 73 and personally, if I'm being honest, this feels stronger at 6.7 than Champion Ed at 7.3. It's got complexities that Champion Ed, Champion Ale hasn't got. And yes, I sound drunk. I can I can hear it in my voice. So will the wife as well. Bollock incoming. Um, <coughs> red card. <coughs> um, like I say, long licorice. Raisins, what a hint of salt. I can taste the salt now, strangely enough. And uh, um, out of five, oh, now there's a thing out of five. And uh, I do really apologize, I'm, I'm not looking at the comments on two screens because I don't want to be, be persuaded by anybody's comments. And uh, it's not me, I hate it. And fuck me, that screen's going like a twat. Um, I can just see the, I can see the changes in the colour on the background. One does apologise. I hate being ignorant. Um, for me, this was a beer that would stand against the finest of the English beers. And I'm talking the likes of King Goblin, 1698, Old Crafty, Abbott Reserve. It would be very, very interesting to do a battle. Scottish, English, something from Wales that's strong and something from Northern Ireland that's strong. And I will do it. I will get another bottle at some stage and do that battle. Um, and, do it, and do an actual review when I'm not so drunk as well because sometimes a less tipsy review brings out more elements that you don't get in a stronger review out of five oh oh for me I would give this a 4.62 out of five I thought now compensating to the for the fact that I've had a drink, uh, but still quite, you know, wet and not pissed out my face. You know, not fucking far off. <clears throat> Pardon my French. Want to apologise, Ali, and uh, any ladies in the background. I don't apologise to blow your video before. Um, for me, a very good beer, and a beer that I need to digest again. Right. Seven. <laughs> to seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Kemp. Sorry, Craig. Craig is like the god of beer reviewers, you know. He is. It's a great beer. Yeah, Geordie. Fucking hell, how many bastard comments was there that I missed? Five point four, nine point eight, <laughs> four point six for me all day. You're right, mate. King Goblin, it's a battle that is. That's got to be the battle. Braveheart, yeah, good film. Right, I'm back. I'm, I've just seen most of the comments. Yeah, if the wife's watching live, I'm in for a fucking shitstorm. Uh, it is. That, that licorice, wow. Sometimes, sometimes you need to know what you're tasting. And this is where beers made by any brewery across the country, you need to explain what you get on the front end, what you get in the middle, and what you get on the back. And then people can say, right, I can taste something. But I can't get every element. Shit, quarter to ten. 
need to kill this bear with you all. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm slapped another bear in there, my horse. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, one has to go to bed. Although I may come down the bear room later and just finish that last bit of the, um, the Northern Ireland one. We're going over to Northern Ireland in, in August, but I've, I've got, I need to find a strong Wales. A, I can get a strong England one all day long. And get a strong um, Scottish one, a battle of the, the you know, and what about a strong Irish one as well? That'd be interesting, you know, for future reference. Anyway, don't be blaming me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll try and be good. I need, I need to walk up the house, give it the uh, the raggy, um, the not pissed look. Yeah. Probably don't work. But anyway, as always, thank you everyone for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. You know, it all makes the night, doesn't it? More mountains brewing. Never heard of that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, bollockings are coming. Cheers, Craig. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Am I in for a bollocking? Probably. Am I in for the yellow or the red? Oh, it's certainly going to be a yellow. She'll know if she's not already asleep. And, uh... Hello. Something's come on. Uh, good night, Disco. And thank you, mate. And, uh, thank you for your Instagram reviews. <laughs> and cheers, all. It's been a great night. It's been an enjoyable night. And, uh, this is what community is all about. Never ever just about the beer reviewer. Oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm waiting for my good friend, Mr. Blue, uh, Bullman Beer Reviews. That's going to be a live beer review on another night. But thank you, Mater. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Cheers all. Going to bed now. Cheers. Or bollocking first, as you do. You know, that's life, isn't it? Cheers. Oh my God, I'm steaming.